Yeah, I'll take orange juice. Uh, I don't drink uh, any orange juice anymore, but uh, uh, sugar. Um, and uh, they don't add it. No, I know, but but there's still a ton of natural sugar in there, and it's just not good for me. Oh. Uh, so, um, uh, but when I was in Florida, uh, last time I was in Florida, uh, the hotel we were staying at uh, was a golf course, uh, had a golf course on. It was yeah. a Wyndham Garden near Disney, and uh, the Wyndham Garden Estates is a combination condominium and hotel complex, and but it's on the site of a former orange grove. And so when they put up the golf course, they kept um, the the they actually cut down all the trees, uh, all the orange trees. But you have to have cross pollinators on a golf or on a on an orange grove. You, you can't have all just one type of of, of fruit. So otherwise they won't grow. So, this is fascinating. Go ahead. So they uh, they have they have all these they have all these other regular trees on the golf course. Okay. And but on the and that's on the uh, south side of the hotel and condo complex. On the north side is still probably I would say 200 acres of orange grove. Now, if you tend to an orange grove, it looks beautiful. The grass is all mowed. Yeah. They obviously haven't mowed the grass in this place in years. The the it's like hay. It's like straw. It's yeah. so long. Um, and the bums live out there. In the daytime, uh, the bums leave and go out and panhandle, and then they come back at night. And eat oranges. And eat oranges all night. So when you go out there, you see all these ta- – I'm like, uh, do they have deer around here? <laughs> There's all these packed down areas. And, and then you notice, like, needles and condoms and liquor bottles, and you realize, no, the deer haven't become that – uh, modernized and yeah, they're not yeah. shooting heroin and and uh, and uh, having protected sex. You'd the be deer, surprised. deer still mostly have unprotected sex, I guess. You'd be surprised. They, uh, but there they are. Uh, the the hobos are are sleeping out under the orange trees, and and so we go in there, and uh, uh, we just we'd gone to the grocery store earlier because we were staying in a condo so we could cook breakfast and things ourselves instead of going out every meal. And so we had these big, uh, the, the paper handle, you know, the pole handle uh, go- uh, grocery bags. And we went out there and we picked hundreds of oranges. And now we're sitting there on the third day that we're down there for 10 days with hundreds of oranges. It's like, what are we going to do with these oranges? So we head over to the Walmart, buy a Bosch juicer. And, and we had fresh squeezed orange juice at every meal. Uh, I didn't, I didn't have a morning. I bought bottles of champagne. I bought, I don't even drink vodka and I bought two bottles of vodka because all night long was just screwdrivers and, and every, every breakfast became a mimosa brunch and (laughs) just drank orange juice and champagne all morning. It was just, it was like, I, I can't live in Florida because I would be an orange juice addict. And and would just be doing nothing but orange juice and alcohol all day long at every meal. You know, uh, and I'm but, sure I'd get to a point where I'd add in ice cream and just make orange juice smoothies and. You know, but while you were doing that and, and uh, having all your fun there, yeah, um, my fun there, all your fun there, yeah. the uh, the bums were starving all day. Oh no, they, they took their oranges. I would like to say that we did that. I would like to have yeah. had an impact on the bums and their orange consumption. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> these trees you would. were so underpicked. Uh, the the just the fallout on the ground. There were everywhere you walked. There were oranges that had just fallen yeah. off. Uh, and we're there in December. We're there like the week of Christmas to New Year's, and and these trees are still producing well, these yeah, beautiful oranges. Like the, the genetically designed to make oranges constantly, aren't oh, they? Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm yeah, sure yeah. those they're trees like, have been spliced like and tree yeah. machines. Yeah. you know. Well, so uh, <laughs> but the craziest thing was. Uh, every now and again, you'd run into a bum who slept late. Yeah. And that is so difficult to describe to your five-year-old daughter or why this man is sleeping under a yeah. tree in the middle of the day. And we would just say he was a lazy orange picker. Oh, who, okay, yeah. Who, 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 had, uh, who decided that he wanted to get paid for being out in the orange grove. So now what is not- she going to do when she sees one in the city? Uh, she actually stepped on one in the city. Uh, we were at Jazz in the Park one night, yeah. and uh, uh, we hung around and talked a long time with some people, and it was late. And so she was walking along those little half walls that, yeah. that surround that area, and uh, she jumped off the half wall right onto us. Was she wondering why deep. there was one there when there's no orange trees That's Yeah, sight? she just went, sir, the orange trees are in Florida. Yeah, what are you yeah. doing here? Awesome. Exactly. Uh, good times. Way good to times. mess up your kid there, there you day. Go. All right. <laughs> so coming up on... Uh, 
uh, on uh, October 11th. That's this Thursday. I'll be at Papa's Social Club. On October 19th, I will be in uh, I will be in Richland Center. Wisconsin. Uh, I don't have the name of the place. If you're from Richland Center, call me and uh, co contact me through Facebook. We'll get you the address and everything. And uh, But that'll be in Richland Center, Wisconsin. It's out on 14 west of town. It's a big place out there. Kind of a cool place. So that's a benefit for the inimitable comedian Sean Cerrone, yeah. who has, uh, who's recovering from some horrible surgery. we so got to get him on the show. Yeah, Sean's, Sean's a good guy. Yeah, in yeah. fact, we will have him on that week before uh, we do that show, sure. so we'll have him on the, uh, I think, whatever that is, the 15th, uh, and that'll be awesome. Um, uh, so outside of um, outside of uh, the uh, benefit on the 17th, what else you got coming up? Anything coming up for you? No, not much. I'm pretty wide open. I'm just writing, 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 trying to write, think, I think funny. The I think the next thing we probably then have coming up, there's going to be a an Honor Flight show. I think it's November 7th uh, in... Um, uh, Mequon, Wisconsin, okay. at the uh, Highland House in Mequon, Wisconsin, All and right. I believe on the 9th of that uh, weekend, either the 9th or the 16th, we'll be at the Astor Hotel. Uh, Great. Uh, having another honor flight show there, so come on out, support the troops, uh, support the veterans, and uh, send an old dude to Washington to see the monuments that we built dedicated to them and A their hero. efforts, so it's awesome. So that's uh, that's the that's the big show tonight. It's right. four forty-seven. We're happy to have had you here. Um, we're uh, heading over to do Justin TV at uh, eight o'clock on uh, Justin TV slash Extemper Radio. Go to that site and you'll be able to see us there. Go to uh, or go to Justin TV and enter enter Extemper Radio and you'll jump to our channel. And uh, we'd love to see you there. So come on over. That'll actually be live video. And uh, we'll see you there. Thanks for All tuning right, thank in. Thank you.